How's it going everybody? This is Real Gamer and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing a new game once again. Lately we've been playing a lot of new games. Today we are playing what's it called? A trove? Uh yeah, I think so. Trove. I think. I think that's what it's called. Uh Trove. Trove, yes, Trove. Okay. Um if it reminds you of Minecraft, I wouldn't blame you. It it's a lot like Minecraft, but it has its own uniqueness. Uh, okay, one of the things, you get to create creatures, build your own boss is one of the things that they've added recently. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so, what is Trove? Okay, so it's it has the Minecraft elements, and that's basically what it is. Survive, build, you know, explore, craft armor, that kind of stuff. But, it's it focuses around combat a lot. Not just survival, it's more combat than survival. Something that uh, Minecraft switches backwards. So, okay, you start playing and you start off with a couple of classes. Now, I chose the Captain Pirate. Now, the hat and the face mask and the gun, that's, that's just uh, items that I found that I picked up and decided to equip on myself. The body, you, you don't get to customize the body. That's what sucks. But you could wear costumes, but I think that covers your entire face and everything. So you can't individually craft uh, or equip certain items. Alright, uh, you could you could change your hair, you could change your mask or the face that you're wearing, your weapon, your hat, all that kind of stuff. The the parrot next to me is just part of the class. It's a uh, it's pretty helpful. It's a weapon. Yeah, the parrot's a weapon. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's go find out where Alex is. Alright, right, we got a mount right here. I got a raptor mount. Right now I'm mining. Oh, he's mining right now. Yeah. All right. Oh, raptor can jump seven times. You know. That was recently recorded in history. We were jumping seven times. Okay, now, oh god. Alright, fall damage. Yeah, they have fall damage. Where are you? Let's see where you are. Oh, you're up there. Passed you by accident. Alright, what class did you choose, Alex? I chose Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter? Yeah. Okay, and that's an archer, right? Yeah. Alright, so you went out with an archer. That's his uh, weapon. Now that laser that he's using, that's actually not a weapon, that's the mining tool. If you press tab and right click, you could uh, mine and collect the, the blocks that you're mining, just like Minecraft. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty useful. Now one of the cool things is that you get to have settlements. But what sucks that uh, what sucks about this game that Minecraft succeeds in is that in this one you cannot settle wherever you want. There's these little, you see these little gray squares? with these uh, slightly less gray squared corners they'll, they'll have these little signs in front of them and that's where you can build your settlements now whenever you build a settlement you get to build it however you want and then if you if you're far away from a dungeon and you, you think you're gonna be spending some time in that dungeon and you want to move your settlement you gotta find a settlement build it there and the and it'll, it'll start constructing itself exactly how you left it in the last settlement so if you build a if you build a really cool tower right here and you move your settlement uh your your new settlement will start to build the same tower that you had before so it's the same thing it just moves around and you can only do it in certain amount of locations now one of the things that bothers me is it's in some in some levels in some worlds it's pretty hard to find settlements but yeah all right so back to the pirate i went with the pirate let's see what his primary attack is it's a normal cap gunshot now it doesn't have as much range as the Shadow Hunter, which I noticed. Uh, my brother he can shoot enemies pretty far away, and I can't. I guess because pirate guns don't have as good accuracy. All right, if I that's left click right there, normal gunshots. Right click, I throw the parrot, and he summons a turret with a cannon on it. So yeah, he shoots cannons. Yeah, and if he starts taking too much damage, he'll actually build a shield around him, like a riot shield, and it's pretty cool. Once he dismounts the the cannon he goes he goes straight back to me so that's pretty cool so right now i don't have him as soon as he dismounts he comes back to me i really noticed you can stretch your walls instead of like keep uh, like you know how minecraft you have to keep on pressing lt to build a block yeah and this one you could just hold the build button and stretch it really yeah like roblox no wait that's another no uh i know there's another game that does that yeah in roblox you can stretch you, yeah know. okay that's that's interesting. I didn't know that either. All right, uh, so that's right click right there. Uh, pressing one, that's gonna summon a a puppet from a box, a TNT box. 
Now, it's not just for decoration, that really is a TNT box. What it does is, as you probably already know, it distracts the enemies. They start hitting it, and if it, if it dies, it explodes. If it doesn't die, it just disappears. But yeah, if it, if it gets hit too much, it'll like explode, causing area damage. So, that'll do some pretty good damage to the enemies. And, it, and if you're close to dying, you know, summon it, get back, heal yourself, let the minion or the distraction do its job yourself and get back to the battle now two is my ultra attack pressing two I get to toss another item but this time oh wow it upgraded wow those lines right there those veiny lines I didn't have those I get to summon a mortar and it really is a mortar it shoots up into the sky and it detects where the enemy is it calculates shoots up into the sky falls down crashes it causes area damage to bosses and everyone that's around them it's pretty cool now, Z, I haven't tried Z, but I know T is a bomb, and R, I think I get to throw rings. If I if I found a box with a ring in it, I have to throw it somewhere, like chicken eggs in Minecraft, and I have to let the ring break, and then I get to equip it. Uh, let's look at a character right here. Hats, these are just cosmetics, weapons, face. What's cool about this game is that if you find an item that with really good stats but you have another item that just looks like 10 times cooler than the one with stats you could um i believe discard the the one with stats and just get it a no you could equip the one with stats and just discard the one that just looks cool and you could equip it you could equip the one that you like and equip the one with stats under it so you get to equip two guns but it turns into one it's hard to explain you get the stats of the second gun but you get the look of the gun that you want and it only works with two guns and, I, and it goes for the same with faces and hats it's pretty cool and they also have dungeons that's what we're gonna do right now it's also an MMO so we might run into some other players raptor mount that's gonna be useful uh, teleportation that also exists alright so we're, let's go find a uh, Let's go find a dungeon real quick. Let's show the combat. If we go this way, there's a dungeon over here. So let's go this way. Uh, just like, oh, here are settlements. Settlements right here. Look, I'm gonna un all right, press E. And I build my settlement exactly how it was in the other location. Oh, I actually gotta refill on these, um, these flasks. Alright. Okay, so let's... Let's go straight ahead. There's no settlement over here if you want it, Alex. I think your uh, your mouth is faster than mine. I think so, actually. I noticed that one a little faster. All right, so we we, we got an enemy. Let's summon our parrot. It's gonna start shooting at it, and yeah, it just sits there after that. Here we got some diamonds that we might want to craft later if we run into this place again. Okay, so it looks like we're at the dungeon. And I believe it's down there. Oh my Jesus. Oh no. Luckily we can jump seven times. See if we could find the location of this dungeon. If I am in the right place. Ah yes, the, the text. You could say absolutely everything. And not have a penalty for it. Am I going the right way? Are we? Oh, are we? What's that? Now that dungeon is already complete. It's this one that hasn't been complete. Is it this? Right here. I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna dig straight down. And it's not letting me. Hmm. What could it be? It has to be around here. This is it. This is it? This uh, circle place? Oh, well, we gotta find it then. Maybe if we mine that. Yeah, we have to find a way in. Alright, uh, let's dig through it. Hopefully, we get lucky. Gather three at this location. Trovians. What are Trovians? I don't know. I think it's those light things. Oh wait, let's see. Nope. Hmm, that's weird. Never seen a dungeon like this. 
this already killed the boss. Well, it will say cleared, but it doesn't. No way, I think it's this over here. Yeah, it's... It's this. This is what it, this is what it is. Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about. Oh, we just have to find a way to... Oh, wait. Could it be that cloud up there? Hmm. Oh, wow. Alright, let's take care of this enemy first. Is that the boss? I don't think so, because we killed one last time and it didn't really do much. No, that's something too, because it's pretty fast. That did massive damage. Oh, we got a... A face! A yeah. Dreaming Death Mask. Yeah! Let's go to a backpack and character. Alright, so here our character is what it currently has equipped and over here is our inventory slash backpack. Let's look for the face mask I that we just picked up. Divine deception. Let's equip it and there we go, now we got a mask. You can see. I equipped mine too. Oh, the, oh wow, you look like Jigsaw, dude. Let's find another dungeon, this one's too hard. This one's too hard for Mario. This one's too hard. Yeah, this way. Straight ahead. Oh yes, dungeons. When you find a dungeon and you see a big X on top of it, it's not because someone built it like I thought. It's because it's already been cleared. And what's the point of going to dungeons? Well, you get to find some really cool loot. And with that loot, you're going to need to disarm a lot of it to create items. So yes, loot equals items. That's the point. Alright, so this castle right here, this is a dungeon. Elite difficulty. Oh god, I'm already being attacked. Oh, I pressed two by accident. Oh well. Alright, traps. They're no match for me. Shooting with a cannon. Whoop. Alright, so. This is a classic castle where the main boss should be located at the very top. For these stairways, you don't need to jump at all. It really does it by itself. Unless it's two blocks or higher, you're gonna need to jump. There's a ghost. Ghost creeping out. These skeletons. Oh, and that one dropped an item. Purple, that, that's a rare item. Oh, epic item, my bad. If it's orange, it's legendary. A lot oh, similar to Diablo, if you've ever played Diablo. Alright, so we can jump seven times even without our mouth. That's pretty useful. Oh, then I think I found our. Alright. Oh, it's a mushroom key. Alright, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Heal, 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 Distraction. It's dead. Alright, where's the chest? Oh, I think we have to keep on going up. Yeah, because he came down. So I think it's up there. Yeah, it is. Alright, don't kill it without I me. Mean, don't shoot it without me. Alright, wait, 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 wait. This, this is the chest that bosses drop whenever they have been defeated and that's that's your goal that's this is what this is what you come for this is what you want to collect so let's shoot it and it drops two or three items launching ladybug it's a gun and this is a face bloodbath visor wow All right, oh no don't tell me i'm full no let's go backpack no there's no way i'm full yeah sometimes you just lag Oh really? Yeah, keep pressing the No, I need that. I need okay. Alright. Backpack and character. Wait. Let's go to Bloodbath Visor. Hey, wow. I got glad it grad. Um I got a chest I could open. What else did I get? Red sports um ball cap and brainy bulb. Launching ladybug. Let's equip that one. And the hat. Oh, what is. Oh, that looks hideous. Alright. Let's go back to the pirate hat. Which hat did you get? The one I'm wearing right now. I got. Ash, catch him! I got some other ones. Watch. Yeah, that one. That one. Graduation. And. Yeah, I also got a chest I could open. Huh. Alright, let's do another dungeon. Alright, um, I'm opening a chest right now. How do you do that? Um, I just got it in my inventory. Watch. Or. 
So an X over there, that yeah, doesn't make common food. flux. Oh, it's a common. Alright, so now the big X builds around this one. That means we have defeated it. Now there's a dungeon over here. I don't know if it's that glowing thing. Let me equip the mount. That way, no. That way I can jump. No, higher. No. No. <laughs> Alright. Well, I messed up on that. Let's do another dungeon and then that should be it for this one. Oh, it looks like I was right. It's this, this flying ladybug thing. Jump, 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 jump. And it's inside. I'll wait for you. Or oh, teleport to me. Alright. Yep, it's right under me. You ready? Alright. Let's call some damage. Oh wait, no, it's not the boss under me. I think we might have to dig. Oh no. What? Where is this dungeon? There's no way we beat it. There's no boss here. They probably already defeated it. No, because there's no X on top of it. No, it, it only turns into an X whenever you beat it. No, because all right, I've I remember seeing in the uh, in the first level there's X's around other ones. That means it's being cleared, so you know if it's being cleared or not. Oh well, let's try another one. There's one this way on our trusty mount. Flying Raptor. Oh, this that really does look like a dungeon. <laughs> I just I just bought him out. Oh yes, it's a beehive. Beehive. Party over here. Is it down there? No, I don't think it's down there. Up here? It has to be up here. Up here. Oh, bouncing pads. Hmm. Never thought I'd see the day. Ah, that's it. That must be him. Yeah, it is. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. I need to heal. Oh, God. It had... Spider babies or something. Yeah. It's twisting on the ground. Oh, okay. There you go. Did all the babies die? Shoot the chest. What did we get? We got a trader's trait and a a hat. Backpack and character. Let us see. Is this an owl? I don't know what that is. But I'm gonna keep it. And I got one thing. Where is it? It's around here. I know it is. Oh yeah, I'm, I got a new mount. I bought a new mount. Really? What mount? Uh, teleport right Oh, how did you get that? Wow. Let me see. What what do they have in the store? I'm press F1. No, that's not the one. Oh, it's escape. Store mobility. That's how you bought it. Four thousand, four thousand, four thousand. Wow, mount awesome ball. Hmm. Okay. All right. I think that's gonna be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. We should be bringing more of this content. If you guys really enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section. That way, I know I am doing something right, and you guys want to keep watching these types of videos. You know, that way we all win. I get supported, you guys get the videos you guys want to watch. So yes, back to the settlement, and let's begin some crafting, but I'll save that for off screen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks to my little brother for helping me out with this video, Outworld Gamer, I'll put his channel in the description below. As always, remember to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, 
and I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield. See ya.